Welcome everybody. This is going to be our Algebra 2 Sequence and Series Lesson 1 Sequences uh, Homework Review uh, Part 1. And I look forward to being able to do the rest of this with you guys. If you have any questions, definitely please put them in the put them in the uh, comment section below. All right. Also, if you find this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel to be and turn on notifications to be alerted when new video new videos are added. So, uh, we talk we talk about sequences just being a, a list of numbers or items in a particular order, and so a lot of times we see that they're functions. So, so question number one says, given each of the following sequences defined by formulas, determine and label the first four terms. A variety of different notations is used below for practice purposes, and so we're going to use in this case for the particular. Uh, form we have, we're going to use that, you know, to list them in this case. So the first one is f of n is equal to 7n plus 2. And so the first term we're going to use in this case is going to be f1. f1 will be our first term. And just like any function, we're going to plug in the value for n. So we had 7 times 1 plus 2, and that's equal to 9. So F1 equals 9. F2 would be 7 times 2 plus 2. And that's 14 plus 2, which is 16. So we'll say F2 is 16. And then we'll have F3, which is 7 times 3 plus 2. 21 plus 2 is 23. So F3, well, the third term would be 23. And then F of 4 equals 7 times 4 plus 2. That's 28 plus 2, which is 30. So F4 equals 30. Now I'm going to shrink these here, group them together, make it a little smaller, some room for later on. But we see in this case, really it's like a function, just like a function here. And so f1 is 9, f2 is 16, f3 is 23, f4 is 30. Okay, we're now going to work on the second one. And in this case, for the second one, a sub n is equal to n squared plus 5. It's for minus 5, actually. So we would have here, in this notation, we would use a1 equals 1 squared minus 5. So a1 is equal to 1 minus 5 is negative 4. It's okay to have a negative number for, for our terms. Now, since we're looking for the second term, a2 is equal to 2 squared minus 5. So 4 minus 5 is negative 1. So a2 equals negative 1. a3 is going to be 3 squared minus 5. And that's 9 minus 5, or 4. So a3 equals 4. And finally, a4 equals 4 squared minus 5. And we just found the rule. So in this case, we get... 16, which means, oh, 16 minus 5. Sorry about that. Just saw, just saw 4 squared, 16. The 16 minus 5 is going to be 11. So A4 is equal to 11. And so we see A1, A2 are negative 4, negative 1, and A3 and A4 are 4 and 11. Now, we move on, and we see here for the third one, we're using t instead of a, and it's okay. It's almost like a, it's a variable thing, like you use a or t in this case. So here we use t of n. So t of 1, the first term, t of 1, is equal to 2 thirds to the first power, which is really going to be 2 thirds. t2, our second term, is going to be 2 thirds squared, which will be 4 over 9. 
C3, the third term, will be 2 thirds to the third power. What we're doing is replacing the end with its number term, number, the number term, and so that would be 2 cubed is 8, and 3 cubed is 27, so 8 over 27. And finally, the fourth term, T4, is 2 thirds to the fourth power, and now we get, now in this case, we get 16 over 81. Okay, and so here are our four terms for C. Two-thirds, four-ninths, eight over 27, and 16 over 81. And finally for D, we're using the notation T, T sub n, so in this case, n is 1, so you have T1 is equal to 1 over 1 plus 1, or 1 half. T2, our second term, is going to be 1 over 2 plus 1, or 1 third. T3, be 1 over 3 plus 1, or 1 fourth. Finally, T4 is equal to 1 over 4 plus 1, and that's 1 fifth. And these are the first four terms of this sequence, where T sub n is equal to 1 over n plus 1. Okay, and I'll, I'll just also kind of... Uh, highlight our first one as well too, just so you can see it's here. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So just keep in mind that a lot of times these formulas are just kind of ways to use uh, to find our, our sequence. And we're kind of going with, in this case, the uh, these whole numbers, one, two, three, four, five, for n values and also. All right. And so that's what we get here. Now, Keep in mind, uh, these are what we refer to as explicit definitions, that would, where we can find, technically, if we want to find any particular term in this situation, we could, without a problem. All right? Okay, and this is question number one for our Out2 sequence series uh, unit, lesson number one on sequences, home review. This is the end of part one. I hope this was helpful. And yeah, pretty much pretty straightforward when it comes to how, how we post things here, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope it was, again, just keep in mind that you can have different letters, F, you know, F of N, A sub N, T, T of N, T sub N. Again, they are mean the same thing for the sequences. Again, so the idea is that we can see as a function in this case. Okay, everybody? All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your your views, and I hope that this case was helpful. Give it a like if you find it helpful, and yeah, subscribe to the channel. Please make sure that you turn on notifications and leave questions or comments on how things can get better for the channel and our videos. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and be safe.